What would you do if you had the chance to live mortgage-free in a beautiful countryside? Have you ever thought about a tiny house? If you're looking to decrease your monthly cost of living, this video is for you. Inside, she has all painted it all white. The blinds are very nice. They stay, of course. The air conditioning unit stays, as well as the heater. And it's all you need to cool and heat this little place. Eight by 16. She's got magnets here for hanging things. Nice job on the white paint. Yes, there's screws on the wall, but you know when you start putting your pictures and all that up, you won't be seeing any of that. And then I think she's left those metal shelves. The good thing about the ESP is all these heavy duty magnets can stay, can be used. I have an ESP and I use I use uh, mag magnets to hang my draperies, to hang my pictures. What you have to do is because that you need to use earth magnets, they're very strong. Uh, she's got a small stool there for you could eat at or work. And she has beautiful, a great job on her countertop that's been sealed. And that's something you have to do, occasionally reseal it. Um, we've got, of course, the cutting board and the small sink. Let me look out of here and see. Yeah, let's see. The backyard actually looks out into. Oh, this tree is nice for privacy right here. The floor is the gray tone. Everybody's familiar with that. And it's the L LV. So that means it's vinyl and it's gonna wipe up water, you spill it, you can spill a whole tea kettle full of water on it and it will wipe right up. It doesn't damage underneath. This does have a storage loft. That's the built-in light over the counter or the kitchen counter. Matrix kitchen cabinets, soft clothes. She put on her own handles. And again, this is magnetized. So that's a nice little towel rack. Like I said, I love the ESP because I didn't ever have to get a hammer out and nail into a wall. I just got figured out my situation with magnets and uh, it was great. All right, so up here we have the 19 gallon hot water heater. And of course the fridge stays. Small fridge, high sense. It was new when she moved in out here. Going into the bathroom. has blinds on the window, but you can look outside. Your neighbors are not close around here. It's beautiful. Okay, we have a 32 inch shower. Of 
course, a toilet, flushing toilet. There is a room for, again, you could get uh, magnetized shelves for back there or over the toilet storage. Again, you've got a magnet for your towel. There is one overhead light here. Let me stand back here and get the whole view. So again, this is an eight by 16, perfect for one person. With Miss Kathy. She is about a two year resident, would yes. you say? Two years yeah. here at Miss Lola's. Um, Miss Lola's property is located, what, nine miles from? I'd say about halfway between Morristown and Newport. Okay. So about nine miles on each side. All right. And she's lived here for two years and she's decided she's selling a beautiful little house here. Um, and go ahead and share with us why you're leaving this Well, cabin. really it's kind of sad because I like living tiny and I like living in this spot particularly out in the country at Miss Lola's. But the truth is, is I have three beautiful grandchildren who are young. Uh, back in Colorado and I just can't live without them anymore so yeah. and I know the feeling because that's yeah. exactly what's happening with me for I'm moving back to Kentucky for the yeah. very re same reason I so, thought I could do it but I can't yeah the just had to make that decision yeah. and it wasn't that easy actually no so. it, no it wasn't because listen I'll be so sad when I leave because like you, you said I'm going to another tiny house but still I miss my community and my neighbors yeah. and yeah. The people and it's so peaceful out here. Well, I also really enjoy living such a simple life. I mean, my home has just been, uh, you know, pared down to the things that I need and I've been totally comfortable and haven't missed anything. Right. So this is such a wonderful, simple lifestyle. Yeah. It's so nice to be free from a bunch of stuff. Yes, absolutely. You know? So, yeah. so nice. All right, so you'll be leaving, and, and what kind of time frame do you have for moving out? Are you ready to go at any time? Oh, I'm ready to go at any time, mm -hmm. so. And everything, I think when I went through here, I said everything is staying except the, the futon that we're, and this is what you sleep on, I guess. Right, this is what I sleep on. And it's comfortable? Yes, Okay. Yes. She sleeps on the futon. Miss Kathy sleeps on the futon, and... It is negotiable. If you are interested in keeping that here, it fits perfectly and it's beautiful and it looks like a really nice quality one. So yeah. it'd be great um, if you don't want it and you've got something else or you want a twin bed or whatever. I'll take it with me. She'll take it with her. She'll yeah. put it in her car and go. So that's the only thing that uh, that was filmed today that will be negotiable. Can can stay, in, but doesn't have to. All right. Um, how do people reach out to you? Uh, well, I have a Gmail account. Okay. Uh, it's katherind6 at gmail.com. And I'll put that on the screen okay. so that everybody can see that. And we'll also list all the details about the, um, about the home in the um, description. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and so if you are interested at all, you can reach out to Miss Kathy. She will be help, ha happy to answer any of your questions. Yes. Um, what is the price on the on this? Well, I'm thinking uh, twenty two thousand. Twenty two thousand. So that's the amount. I'd like Which to is with. a great deal for it this. It truly is a great God. deal. <laughs> so and so you lease the lot, and what is the lease on the lot? What is that? Uh, the lot is three twenty five a month with Miss Lola, mm -hmm. and uh, that pays for water, sewer, uh, you know, the lot and all. Right. But, um, everything but electricity. So you pay electric. So can you give us an idea of what kind of electric bill you have? Well, electricity has been, it's a pretty wide range depending on summer and winter. It is, it is. But uh, in the past, uh, the two years that I've been here, been here almost, uh, summertime is more in the say 30 to 40 range. Oh, God. And winter is more in the 80 to 90. Yes, yeah, so. that's about what I felt too. And it's usually just for a couple of months that you right. get that really high. January, amount. February is, yeah. is when I get my high ones. On. Yeah, and then, then in the, like the transition months, it's nothing. Yeah. It's really nothing. Yeah. Because you don't need heat or air. So, yeah. But um, yeah, that's exactly what I find in my home. And my home's a 12 by 20. So. Oh, my. Yeah, and yeah. it's, but it's an ESP. So, but yeah, yeah the, it's great, and but since you have, I have a mini split. You have this, and uh, you're being real happy with. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've stayed perfectly comfortable with my window air conditioner and my 
um, little heater, little down heater there. Mm -hmm. from uh, just a space heater, and that's kept me very warm. Yeah. Uh, the thing about these incredible boxes is they heat up and cool down very quickly because they're a limited space and they've got this nice ESP mm -hmm. paneling. So. The paneling and yeah, they're yeah. very well insulated. Yeah. So you can't go wrong with the the insulation on these things. I mean, that's I've true. never never been too cold or too hot. I mean, it's just like you said, you can go in, turn it on, get it where you need yeah. it to be. Yeah. I bet that heater kind of runs you out at times. Well, I turn it on for a little bit, maybe what, five or 10 minutes and then it's yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, yeah. well, we are happy to meet you today. I will get, um, I will get this all uploaded and I'm sure that the people are gonna be fighting over your little home here. I it's hope beautiful. so. <laughs>